Good morning. KSBs, Knowledge, Skills, and Behaviors. This morning we'll be demoing Knowledge, Skills, and Behaviors soldier attributes which will be maintained and supported in IPSA. We'll be reviewing the KSBs and focus on those which are self-professed, those knowledge, skills, and behaviors that may be added or updated by the member or an authorized user on behalf of the member. The goals are to highlight the navigation to KSBs through self-service and profile management, to show the ability to access and the variety of KSBs maintained. We'll demo the soldier and authorized user inputting and updating a self-professed KSB. We'll highlight the relationship between KSBs, the 25 point profile concept and the soldier talent profile. And we'll also review predefined queries and the resulting KSB analytic reports available to the HR professional, career manager, and the camp commander. So I am currently logged in IPS A as a member. Uh, the self-service page will come up and new to R3 is the TAM Soldier Work Center tile. Clicking on this tile will bring up the Talent Management Work Center. So in the left-hand column, you'll see a talent profile header. Immediately below will be my profile, which is the link to go in and view your attributes or add or update. And there's also a link to see your, sal your soldier talent profile, and we'll view that later. But first, let's go into my profile. And KSB data fields will be populated in IPSA either through a number of inbound interfaces or by manual entry. The data fields populated via interface will be display only in self-service and not available to edit. And we'll see some examples of that in the left column, you'll see we've got 13 categories, career management, skills, qualifications, physical profiles, education, experience, awards, performance, assignment information, self-professed, which we'll come back and look at, benefits, aviation, and the sessions. So let's like, take a look at the career management area You'll notice that it's gray, it's it's display only. There's no ability, there's no add button in order to add an additional attribute. So career management fields are all display only. And you'll note if there is no data, there will be a message that the data does not exist and cannot be added here. These fields all come in from an inbound interfaces from an authoritative data source. So let's, we were gonna concentrate on self-professed KSBs today. So under the self-professed link, we have, we've got self-professed language, we've got goals and objectives, civilian acquired skills, additional duties, self-study knowledge, cultural experience, self-professed attributes, thesis, capstone publications, references, networking, and technical certifications. So all of these categories, you will see an add button and the ability to add or update data there. So we were just gonna um, demo adding a couple KSBs today, and we were going to add innovation and cryptography to the member. And innovation, so innovation, innovation is going to be found under self-professed attributes. I'm going to add the group tape is going to be cognitive. And the content group is creativity. We'll search. And there'll be three items displayed. One being innovation, which we'd like to add to the member. Proficiency level is a required field. If 
somebody tries to save it without the proficiency field, you will get a note and you can't save through that. We'll need to OK and go back and put the proficiency level. The options here being beginner, intermediate, and expert. So today I'm going to add an intermediate proficiency level. And I want to make sure to save in the upper right hand corner. OK, let's add another one. Let's add cryptography. Cryptography is going to be found under self-study knowledge. And I see that I've already got cryptography added here, so I must have put it in. Let's see what my proficiency level is. I will check that. It's actually a beginner, so I'm going to say I have now become an intermediate. So I'm updating my cryptography proficiency to intermediate, and I'm going to save. OK, so let's see. There was also one. I wanted to see what my physical endurance attribute was current, what the proficiency level was. So I will go to self perfect professed attributes. I'm going to click on physical endurance. I had previous put it put in a beginner. I'm now feeling intermediate. And I will save. So this again is the area where the member will be going in and adding and updating current information. They can view data that's been currently put in or previously put in. You can see that previously I had camping, canoeing, cave diving, and cryptography as self-knowledge, self-study knowledge attributes. So I'm going to log out and come back into IPSA as a HR professional. So one of my soldiers has asked me to update on their behalf, a couple of their attributes. So as a HR professional, I'll actually come in as this in this on the self service page. But if I need to get to one of my soldiers records, I will be going in as the HR professional. And new to R3 will be the TAM unit work center tile. I will be clicking on that to get to the talent management work center. And this is going to look slightly different um, to the HR professional. They will be going into the KSBs via profile management and person profiles. So the member that has asked me to update a couple of his attributes, I will bring up. The member has asked me to either add or update German to his record and also add that he's been handling fire marshal duties. So to begin with, we'll see the same categories in tabs across the top that were the same as the uh, member saw in the left-hand column. So I need to find the self-professed tab. And I'm looking under self-professed language and actually he added, he, the member wanted me to add a different German. So I am going to go ahead under self-professed language. I'm going to, I know that if I put German in description, it should bring up a different, okay. So he had asked me to actually bring up German Bavarian. So I've added this. There are three proficiency levels we can add. We'll be adding basic reading, basic speaking, and basic listening. And I will click OK. And save button is at the bottom to make sure I save that record. And the other item the individual wanted me to add was fire marshal. And this I see was already added. And this does not have a, 
uh, proficiency level, but I may want to add an end date if I'm only going to be doing fire marshal duty until the end of the year. So I can verify with the member that I, I did check his record. We've added the German Bavarian language. And I've also verified that fire marshal duty and I've updated it to note that he was only gonna be doing duty through the end of the year. Okay, so let's take a look at how the member or the HR professional or commander will actually view all the soldier attributes in one place. And this will be on the soldier talent profile. And this does take a second to display. And here I'm gonna put in the record that I wanna pull up. I do want to note that this is not real time data. There's actually a process that will be run on the scheduler to update. So data that I have input just in the last few minutes would not be viewable here. Um, it would have it would take the process running in the background in order to populate this. So here we can see. Again, the soldier talent. Profile large amount of data, large, large amount of attributes that the member has attached to themselves. And we can see the sections, the mapping from the self-service, self-professed KSBs that we entered and see that they're going to be shown displayed here. There's a number of sections, the skills we saw, languages, personal attributes, experience self-professed, knowledge self-professed, any of these sections were areas that the member could update on their own. And there's backside to the profile, additional sections that we saw, cultural experience, behavior, career planning, preferences. So that is where the member or HR commander can see. In R3, there was a concept um, embraced where um, which just give provided greater detail regarding knowledge, skills, behavior, experience, readiness, and the goal is to provide a holistic talent pr profile for the soldier. So this is the result of that. OK, I'm going to go back uh, where I'm signed in as the. And I forgot to save, so I will go back and save, make sure my input was saved. And I want to go back to my home page. And the other item we wanted to look at today were the analytic reports that are available to professionals and commanders, career managers, and these can be found in the KSB dashboard. Currently, there are five reports defined. Um, so these are driven, these reports are driven by predefined queries. So they're in back of the scene, they're behind the scenes. <laughs> and um, let's look at so as an HR professional, these reports will bring up my soldiers and their data. So these are members that have gone into the system and professed their languages and their proficiency levels, reading, speaking, and listening. There's a special duty report where the member has gone in and um, professed their special duty can be displayed here. These individuals and the no self professed report have not indicated anything. It might be a, a flag for somebody to be notified to let them know they, they should look at their KSBs and update if required or necessary. And there's a stabilization report. 
or stabilization preference can be noted. This last report is um, the no update one year report. The database we're in, um, it's a very large report, so I'm not going to try to pull it up um, because it'll take too long to come up. But I wanted to give you just an idea of what these reports look like and that they're associated to predefined queries. They're driven by the predefined query.